back to Warboard Woodworking. I'm Derek, and today we're doing a follow-up to the Popsicle Stick Sled Ornament video. So I decided that I was going to build a bunch of these sleds and send them out to my family and friends for Christmas this year. I ended up making about 20 sleds, but I did make a few changes that I'd like to tell you about. I start out building them just like I showed in the video. And I built all of two ornaments before I decided I needed a design change. In the video, I attached the string to the steering piece by making a couple notches with a sanding block. I did this because I was afraid that if I drilled holes, it would split the steering piece. However, once I tied those first two strings on there, uh, the knot was out in front and I just thought it looked terrible. So. I did end up drilling holes in the steering piece, sticking the string through, and then tying the knot on the back side. Now my original concern about splitting the sticks was valid. I did end up splitting a few steering pieces, but what I did to solve that was I just made those painted ones. I glued them back together, I sanded everything flush, put a coat of paint on it, they looked fine. So after I made that change, I made three more sleds for a total of five, and then I made my second design change. I decided to go from a five slat design down to a four slat design. Now I had always kind of wanted to do the four slat design, but I was afraid that by making the sled narrower, the cross pieces would be so small that when you were cutting them, your fingers would be very close to the saw blade. However, I was comfortable doing it, so I went ahead and changed it. I put a warning in my original video about if you're not comfortable to use a three millimeter plywood sheet and you know, Put all your patterns on that and then cut them out and i'm just going to reiterate that warning you know if you do that glue it all onto like say something like a foot by a foot you cut all your pieces out keep your fingers away and uh you know you don't have to worry about getting nicked by your scroll saw that was the only two design changes i made once i got those two done then i went ahead and knocked out 14 more sleds Now if you've been counting in the pictures, you notice I'm a couple sleds short. Why don't we come over here to the workbench and I'll answer for those. Alright, so here's two more sleds. They're not quite assembled yet, but that's the way they're supposed to be. These are little kits that I put together for my younger members of my family. Um, I found that, you know, the kids enjoy putting these sleds together much more than if I just gave them one that's already pre-made. So I build these little kits. I include everything in there. Well, let's just open one of these up real quick. You know, so I got I got all the all the pieces in here. I cut the the notches and everything myself. I label them so that um, you know they know how to put them together. I put uh, a couple sheets of sandpaper in here, loose sandpaper like this, to sand uh, when they're painting. I make a little sanding block like this. Um, just glue a piece of sandpaper to a little block of wood. So that's for like when you're sanding off the, the nubs like right here after you glue it together. That's nice. And then I, I put a string in there. So they have all the parts that they can make their own sled. They can paint them how they want. You know, I found that you know the kids really like this so if you got uh, kids you know you might want to consider doing something like this if you're good with math you'll realize that only adds to 19 where's the last sled well just like Lord of the Rings there has to be one sled to rule them all and that's the sled that hangs on my tree check it out All right, since we're over here at the bench already, I want to show you another tip that I used to speed production when I was making all these sleds. So if you plan on making more than one of these, this will really help. What I did is I printed, printed the patterns off and I cut one of every part. So these are the ones for the five slat. Here's the ones for the four slat. The rail is the same for both of those patterns, so I can use it for either one. 
And by doing this, you know, having the part already cut, now I can just grab it, hold it on there, trace it real quick. and then go cut it. That really speeds things up so you don't have to, you know, cut the pattern out every time, glue it to the popsicle sticks. Um, if you're only gonna do one pattern, it ain't gonna make much of a difference, but if you're gonna do more than one, this definitely speeds things up. So on a final note, I did finish the instructable that I was writing for these ornaments. I'll put a link in the description down below. The patterns for all three ornaments will be included in that instructable. The three slat sled that I made for myself, the four slat design, and the five slat design from the original video. I'm also going to put pictures from the 20 sleds that I built for my friends and family up on Instagram and maybe even Facebook. So I'll put those links in the description down below too. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, everybody.